Hi, today we're going to show you how to test a clock spring. This is just to know if you have continuity going from the airbag connector through the clock spring disc down to the base of your steering column. This is just an example in this one. Many of these clock springs will have two connectors on the top for the dual airbags. This is nothing more than a long extension cord that runs through the steering column. It's nothing, nothing more than that. So if you'll notice on the bottom of this connector where it plugs into the harness, it's this funny looking spring in this one right here that touches these two posts together. If you pull this in, you'll notice these posts won't be grounded together anymore. This is designed on every vehicle. This is a Chevrolet truck 2001 series. Every vehicle has these. They're all just different shapes. This actually helps you when you're testing the clock spring so you're not laying down on the floorboard under the dash trying to, to test for continuity between here and here like you would think. Just unplug the steering wheel clock spring down below and let this help you. This will keep it shorted together and all you're going to do is test the top part. For this demonstration I've got a digital meter that you can see how it's going to respond. So when you turn this on it's going to zero out here in just a second. And this is what you're going to get. I don't know if you can hear the tone or not, but this is a signal when you have contact. Okay? So if you take and you probe one lead of the clock spring, it's going to come down through here and short out and come back the other side. You've got your tone. That would indicate you have a good clock spring. And your meter would indicate, whichever meter you're using, that you have continuity. If you don't have this result, then that indicates you've got a broken wire somewhere in here and it's not going to work.